One of the best things about Hawkins is how the map is built. When I'm playing on this map, especially in these areas, I feel like I'm in the Stranger Things world. This map does a great job at recreating the lab from the show and that adds to the experience. No other map has an atmosphere like Hawkins with the upside down particles everywhere. The portal to the upside down is also extremely well done. Dead scientists lying all over the place add to the thrill of the experience. Maybe a loose demogorgon killed them. Playing against this killer on its own map is unlike playing any other killer on their map. The thrill is just not the same. If you're not up against demo, maybe the killer you are facing killed the scientists. The doors opening and closing are, are extremely unique to Hawkins, and even the exit gates are special too. Hawkins also has multiple levels which include more easter eggs such as this demo dog right here, which continue to build the atmosphere. Even if you're not a fan of Stranger Things, you have to admit it is a well designed map. One of the biggest complaints against Hawkins are the loops. Every time I try to argue for this map, everyone complains about how unsafe the pallets are. But there are very good loops on Hawkins, and even a god loop. Here's some footage of me running killers on these safe loops. Keep in mind you have to be pretty good at mind gaming to run these. safe pallets, there are safe loops such as these on this map. Hawkins also has really great hatch spawns that are easy to find. They stand out with the metallic floor of the laboratory unlike maps such as Coldwind or Crotus that people prefer. Hawkins has really easily displayed gates as well that rival Larry's gates. As you can see here, when I'm down the hall, I can easily see the exit gate sign, and when I run down the, to the gates, they are highlighted in red. What makes these gates better is that they always spawn on the same sides in the same location, which means that if you don't pay attention when the final generator is popped, you can still know where the gates are. Which brings me to my next point. 
Hawkins National Laboratory is a very easily memorized map. As long as you play it, you can memorize it pretty well. Some things always spawn in the same location, such as this generator. I also know where this chest is and these lockers. The gen over here has constant spawns as well. These drop down points all around the generator are always the same. Hawkins has really great basement spawns. Both of them spawn next to the le uh, level 2 generators, which means that you can go down to them, grab a chest, get a toolbox, and go up to use them right on these gens. Hawkins has great gen locations. This gen has multiple skate routes, including these lockers, over there, over there, and down here. If you have balanced landing, this is a great gen location. This generator also has multiple escape routes. Hawkins is a unique map furthermore because of its unique gameplay situations. An example is this loop right here. No other map provides this type of drop down mind game other than Hawkins. This part of the map is also a unique drop down area. While you may not like certain parts of Hawkins National Laboratory, these are the reasons that I love this map, and I think that it is the best map in Dead by Daylight. Feel free to dis discuss these points I made in the comments below. Let's talk, let's have a discussion. Also, when this video goes live, I'll be streaming Dead by Daylight on Twitch. You can take the link in the comments below. Please come by and drop a follow. Also, to make sure you don't miss out on future videos, hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications. Thank you for watching, and peace out.